Now, hello everybody! Welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Here we are on October 29th, 2019, and we're looking at my shadow. No, what we're looking at is a baby tarantula. Look at him. He's not happy. He's ready. He's ready to spring. Yeah, he's uh, just roaming out here. I just came out of the garden checking all the plants and had a few tomatoes uh, just a munch on before dinner and I was hunkered down most of the day today until probably 2 30 in the afternoon and finally the winds calmed down to like they are now about uh, seven eight miles per hour and uh, I finally got to go um, pick up I unloaded the uh, the other OSB there and I got the five sheets here for the flooring and I picked up two more sheets or three more sheets that I go on a roof because the uh, roof add-on is uh, 8 by 24 no 8 by 12 sorry um, and then I picked up more 2 by 4s I picked up the um, roof rafters I got five of them here and I got the uh, fascia plate on the 2 by 6s and I got two more of the uh, 4x4 by 8s because I need those for the sills underneath the windows, the big windows that are going to go in here in front. And uh, I got, uh, let's see, yeah, I got a 4040 window in here. And uh, that'll be going on that far wall over there. Like I said, I didn't want to put a big picture window there, although it would be nice to have that kind of view. Uh, there's really not that much to see, except UFOs flying over the mountains and things like that. So, uh, it looks like if the weather allows, I'll be able to get some construction done tomorrow. And uh, before I get this completely closed in, i got to make sure that I close in those... Uh, eaves above the uh, 4x4 on the old part um, because if I don't then all of the birds in this desert are going to move in there for the winter and every day I'll get up and come out here and clean bird crap off of everything it's already bad enough as soon as I leave to go do anything I come back and they're all on the porch anyway and something was in the attic again last night. So I got up there, I went up through the, uh, um, the bathroom ceiling. I, I've got a, a, a cover in there right now covering the bathroom fan because I want to keep the heat in. I don't want it to seep out. And I uh, went up there and I uh, sprayed some of that uh, rodent repellent. And uh, hopefully that'll take care of it. I also went up on the roof here, well not on the roof, I just went up the ladder and then there's an eave vent at the top right there and it's screened so I know they're not getting in through there and I sprayed the uh, uh, rodent repellent through the screen into the attic at that point because it seems like I hear them up in this corner here and then around on the other side here it sounds like I hear them up in this area and uh, like above the window and in this wall area and uh, I've got to find out what the heck is going on there I've walked around this place time and time and time again and I don't see how anything could get in there it just is not possible but apparently something is in there how they got in there I don't know now, if they went in through the um, vent cap there on top of the uh, water heater, all they do is go into the water heater. They still can't get into the cabin. Uh, there's no, I mean, this thing is locked up tighter than Fort Knox. I can't understand how anything can be in that attic. Now, the only thing that I could think of, possibly, and even that isn't a good possibility, is when I connected the new bedroom onto the old cabin, there is a false wall there. But the false wall 
has a metal plate on the bottom of the um, the studs I use to make the uh, the wall. So I don't see how they could get up through that. And under the tub is solid plywood, except where the plumbing pipe goes through the ground uh, or through the flooring to go underground. And that's all foam tight. Uh, I, I foamed that all up solid and made sure that there was no le air leaks or anything like that under there. So I'm just not getting it. But we'll see if the uh, um, rodent spray helps get them out of the attic. And uh, I sure hope so because uh, they start at about 2 a.m. and go all the way through till 6.30 a.m. And then when they hear me moving around inside the cabin, everything gets quiet. So I don't know. I looked up in the, uh, in the gutters and... Uh, the gutters are clean there's nothing in there and uh, it definitely sounds like it's above the um, styrofoam insulation in the ceilings so let's see what happens tonight and we'll get some uh, building done tomorrow if the winds don't blow I was listening to the radio as I went to uh, Home Depot to pick this stuff up and they said that uh, red flag warnings are in effect until Thursday uh, and that means we might have more wind. And the uh, the winds were gusting up at, in the neighborhood of 27 miles per hour today. So that kind of uh, limited me to what I could do out here. I mean, you know, it only got up to 70, and the high got to 70. And uh, it just was not a, a good day to do any work. So I'm going to cut this short, and just in case... I'm going to make a little metal flashing I can put around that gas pipe there so nothing can go down underneath at that location. And uh, it, it, if I make it out of uh, sheet metal, it'll be fine and it can stay there even though um, I'm going to overlay this. It just gives me an extra sealant to make sure nothing can come up. All right, that's it everybody. I'm going to get myself some... Uh, cold beer because it's chilly out it's 66 degrees and i need an ice cold beer <laughs> all right everybody g man reminding you give me a thumbs up down there please don't forget to subscribe um i did have a couple of questions i uh, i need to ask uh, answer uh, but uh those were through email so i can answer those back through email and then i'll touch on those subjects later on at another time the girls are down in the sunny side, keeping warm, and I'm going inside. G-Bear, signing off.